We plutocrats know, even if we don't like to admit it in public, that if we had been born somewhere else, not here in the United States, we might very well be just some dude standing barefoot by the side of a dirt road selling fruit. It's not that they don't have good entrepreneurs in other places, even very, very poor places. It's just that that's all that those entrepreneurs, customers can afford. So here's an idea for a new kind of economics, a new kind of politics that I call new capitalism. Let's acknowledge that capitalism beats the alternatives, but also that the more people we include, both as entrepreneurs and as customers, the better it works. Let's by all means shrink the size of government, but not by slashing the poverty programs, but by ensuring that workers are paid enough so that they actually don't need those programs. Let's invest enough in the middle class to make our economy fairer and more inclusive, and by fairer, more truly competitive. And by more truly competitive, more able to generate the solutions to human problems that are the true drivers of growth and prosperity. Capitalism is the greatest social technology ever invented for creating pros prosperity in human societies if it is well managed. But capitalism, because of the fundamental multiplicative dynamics of complex systems, tends towards inexorably inequality, concentration, and collapse. The work of democracies is to, is to maximize the inclusion of the many in order to create prosperity, not to enable the few to accumulate money. Government does create prosperity and growth by creating the conditions that allow both entrepreneurs and their customers to thrive. Balancing the power of capitalists like me and workers isn't bad for capitalism, it's essential to it. Programs like a reasonable minimum wage, affordable health care, paid sick leave, and the progressive taxation necessary, necessary to pay for the important infrastructure in, necessary to the middle class like education, R&D, these are indispensable tools shrewd capitalists should embrace to drive growth because no one benefits from it like us. Many economists would have you believe that their field is an objective science. I disagree. And I think that it is equally a tool that humans use to enforce and encode our social and moral preferences and prejudices about status and power. Which is why plutocrats like me have always needed to find persuasive stories to tell everyone else about why our relative, relative positions are morally righteous and good for everyone. Like we are indispensable, the job creators, and you are not. Like tax cuts for us create growth, but investments in you will balloon our debt and bankrupt our great country. That we matter, that you don't. For thousands of years, these stories were called divine right. Today, we have trickle-down economics. How obviously, transparently self-serving all of this is. We plutocrats need to see that the United States of America made us, not the other way around. That a thriving middle class is the source of prosperity in capitalist economies, not a consequence of it. And we should never forget that even the best of us, in the worst of circumstances, are barefoot by the side of a dirt road selling fruit. Fellow plutocrats, I think it may be time for us to recommit to our country, to commit to a new kind of capitalism, which is both more inclusive and more effective. A capitalism that will ensure that America's economy remains the most dynamic and prosperous in the world. Let's secure the future for ourselves, our children, and their children. Or alternatively, we could do nothing, hide in our gated communities and private schools, enjoy our planes and yachts, they're fun, and wait for the pitchforks. Thank you.